It's got its name, hello, hey. Hey, it's Nay. And welcome to my channel, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. My have, my have something awesome to share with you. I have been gifted um, by my husband uh, something freaking wonderful, okay? Miraculous, amazing. Um, and that is, uh, we went to, quick side story, right? We need to take a pause. Let's step over here for a second. We went to uh, Neiman Marcus uh, as a lipstick on my teeth. I don't know, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Uh, we smell a ton of fragrances. I think I already dropped that video where I like smell a ton. DS and Durga, Tom Ford's new fragrances. I smell like, y'all, I smell a lot of fragrance. And I smelled Mind Games. And I was like, wow. The slaughter. And they had this set there for just under $200. And it came with five of their decants, um, about 8 ml. It's, uh, you know, it's a niche brand. You know, and they're expensive. I'm talking $345, um, 400 ml. Um, and they don't offer smaller. They offer 2 mls next. Which is so crazy to me. That's so. Does anyone else feel like niche brands need to stop playing with people's lives? You are expensive. We understand that. We comprehend that. We need you to come out with 20 ml, 30 ml, 40, 50 ml bottles so that people can still get your chance in your bottles. You know what I mean? But until then. One thing I can say, though, that's what I was saying before, is um, you can definitely tell the quality of the packaging. Now, how important is, is packaging, you ask? Well, it really depends on the person. I can for sure say the packaging is pretty dang immaculate. Um, like, this is just, this is beautiful. I'm probably going to keep this whole container um, and not take the sample, the sample things out of here. There are five fragrances. The point, if you don't know Mind Games, and you probably do, I'm probably late to the party. As per usual, I can only move so fast and spend money. But you know what I mean? Things are expensive. Milk at this point is literally like $12 for half a gallon. It's wild. Um, the point of Mind Games they have here, even if you go look at the website, is like chess pieces. So each fragrance has a like a chess piece name. I have played chess in my 100%. These are not the names of these chess pieces for sure. I mean, some of them. I, I, needless to say, the point of it is to go by chess pieces. So I'm of here. So check me it. Kaisa, Kaisa, As, Sulis, Diamond, Blockade, and Castling. Y'all, oh wait, hold on. Pull a purse down. Give me a minute. Like all of this, the sustainability, they, they just talk about a lot of things. The art of perfumery, the art of design, the art of the game, everything and a bag of chips. So I'm obviously I'm gonna have all the fragrances them own in this little situation. I think them have like 15 fragrances. I'm not fragrance. I think they have just about everybody. So I don't have all of these here to, to test with you. But uh do me a favor and just go get something to drink and eat because we're going to go through all of them and we're going to hit my favorite one last because that is just the way I am. So if you're interested in that, it's been a hot minute I've been talking but already, but let's just get into it. So, in underneath the image of the chess pieces, I'm, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, good, good. Oh, wait, maybe if I turn up the light a little more. Nope, maybe if I, oh no, there you go underneath they kind of tell you some of the primary notes oh that light is oof, booming relax we need some water um the they tell you some like the main notes so what did i do i had a whole nother outfit on today with a whole nother scent 
combo i'm not gonna tell you about that scent combo because look forward to that video dropping okay i have a couple more fragrance combos that i've been wearing some by accident some purposely tested and y'all i got some yes they have their own strips here for you to spray the free grounds and i think that is awesome because i ain't never seen anybody else do it so they get brownie points. They get that extra chocolatey fudgy brownie with a little bit of the little salt on the top with the peanut butter mixed in. That's what they get. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's start. So I have the website open. The first one is Checkmate. Am I going to read you this description? No, I'm just going to read you the notes. We don't want to be here for 45 minutes. Lighter looking thing that just holds the fragrance. I feel, and then there's a little crown. No. no, 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 don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, come on, come on, girl, you heard that click, that meant it's in there, it is stuck, that's a, guys, come on, yes. anyway, so, before I read you the notes on here, the notes they chose as, like, the note, primary notes you're gonna smell, is tobacco, Bourbon and Centel. Okay, let's take out one of their trusty dusty sticks. I'm gonna tear them in half so I don't finish off all my mind game sticks in one video. Two sprays. And I didn't even <laughs> top notes of Davana Champagne and Rouge Grossiel. Middle notes of Rose de My Vitessence. Rose Bulgarian, Magnolia, Rose Centifolia, Vit Essence, Dry Down and Sabac Bourbon, Patchouli Leaves, and Tree Moss. Listen, I'm going to probably sound like I have no cult class um, and no French culture, which is the truth, okay? Um, I apologize to anyone who's going to hear me butcher these names several times because these are interesting. This is absolutely amazing. Let me let's talk for a second, okay? I definitely it's not a sweet fragrance. This is a definitely a floral. I don't like a fresh floral with a little bit of sweetness. Not a lot of sweetness. However, to me, I'm going to say to be honest, think this is a feminine fragrance wear what you want it leans feminine to me because it's very floral and slightly almost powdery i'm not sure what's making that smell slightly in the back back like they just went of a little bit of powder definitely floral they claim this is a sharp floral tobacco am i really smelling the tobacco right now no but the tobacco tobacco note s is in the the dry down so definitely a fresher fragrance for sure that is check i love it i love it i love it the next one is kaisa kaisa those are the notes it just said white gardenia and ylang ylang but supposedly it's centered around two bros they just won't ruined it for me but it's That just boomed in my nose just now. Boom. Boom. Black licorice, pink peppercorn, cardamom. Foie gasset accord. I'm not going to even try to say that again. I'm going to let that failure hit one time and close it out. Middle notes of... Tubalane. Ylang Madagascar. Jasmine Egypt. White gardenia. Try down of ambrosinide cocoa bean and vegan musk okay i didn't like the old immediate spray it was not for me it was giving i don't know it just was not giving something i like okay now it's okay this is definitely a spring summer fragrance this is fresh where is the tuberose that she said was in here i didn't read that as a note so i'm not sure 
Oh, is that what tubaline is? Perhaps. Listen, these flowers be having 42, 42,653.61 names. So tuberlane could be tuberose. It's a nice fragrance. It's definitely a fresh floral. This is a floral white flower woody. They put this under. It is a fresh floral the fresh floral fragrance it's nice it's it's giving soft girl era it's giving i talk like this i also don't move my body too much i am living my gentle and delicate life i possibly like to frolic in a field of flowers in my downtime my house is probably a very beautiful gorgeous cottage in a very beautiful safe area um, in which I don't even have to worry about wild vicious animals perhaps I speak to the bunnies um, and the um, little cute mischievous foxes when I feel like it it doesn't smell like Flora Botanica at all but something in that s that vein it reminds me of like a it's not green. I don't know what about this specifically, but it's giving me that like fresh life. I like it, but not a lot. No, but for, like truthfully, who is actually going to say this fragrance correctly is um, my question. But I guess it's not my business. I'm going to try my best. As Suli's diamond. You know, for some reason, what that just sparked in my head. Um, uh, Airbender. You know. Um, uh, well, I can't forget. I'm forgetting his name. When he had his like growth arc, I had the biggest crush on him growing up. Prince Zuko. Zuko's sister. That for some reason it just sparked in my mind. So this better be a badass thing, cause she was the badass of all bad. One of the badass of all badasses in that dang whole show. You can't change my mind, okay? It's just factual information. This is Cypress Smoke. I gotta go to my bed. <laughs> I gotta go to my bed. He. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Fig leaf. Mandarin. Oh, that's. No, I thought I saw. Oh, that's a whole other fragrance. Fig leaf, Mandarin Madagascar, and Bergamot Kapua. Are the top notes? Middle notes of Ylang Ylang Madagascar, Broom Flower, and Tonka Bean. Dry down is Myrrh, Apopanax, Incense, and Amber Wood. They call it a woody aromatic incense fragrance. I can smell the fig. I can smell this is amazing dang this is amazing no this is amazing it's giving unisex which i would even give prince zuko's sister that she gives very top energy very masculine yet she looks very feminine and like it's fresh it's woody I definitely can get the hints of the incense. The incense is in the dry down, so perhaps it'll get a little stronger, but I can get wisps. It's not thick, it's not heavy, but it's present. This is absolutely beautiful. This is blended to the gods. The fig in here is giving a slight sweetness. I don't smell the bergamot. Usually bergamot gives a bubbling and I'm a nose. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's giving like that wispy beautiful smoke um that's outside like you open the window with this and was just having this in your face it's a little kickback but also kind of badass in a kickback type of way like i don't need to tell like i don't need to tell you i'll take you down six notches you already know um this is lovely i like this a lot wow this is definitely signature scent worthy in my opinion i think in the heat i'm gonna obviously try it god willing but um in the heat 
uh you'd have to give yourself one solid spray probably and that's it but it's not a heavy thick fragrance this is really pretty I would not mind a man wearing that. I definitely think it's really gorgeous. And this is a really freaking nice pack of five fragrances. I'm very thoroughly impressed. Let's hit this next one, Castling. Castling is said to have wood, blanc, and fig. La, la, la. Fig leaves, bergamot, capua, fleur del sel is the top note. Middle notes of iris, fuchsia, and lotus flower. Dry down of vanilla woods, skin musk, vetiver, Madagascar. Oh, vetiver, Madagascar is one sentence, one one short phrase. Sandalwood from East Asia. This is a flows under the green floral woody. Did I spray this? Oh, I did. Okay. This is very, um, fresh, very clean very air like i don't it's not like i don't smell anything but it is very light this is a very understated type of fragrance this is very understated i expected a little more castling is an ode to my beginnings transporting you to the south of france an aura of clean powerful luminosity lingers in the air and slowly unfolds into the universality of fig. I divulged on the sheer strength of white woods and the milky creaminess of fig to build this composition. And a touch of orris with this divine purity adds just the right amount of innocence. Interesting. This This is probably the scent of actual royalty, right? When you don't want to do too much, when you don't, you don't have, excuse me, let me correct myself. You don't have to do too much because you are already a lot and enough and plenty. So you need your presence is already a presence, so you don't really, per se, need or want your fragrance to boom and, and do a lot. But there's something to you. It's one of those things when you're like, something, something smells really nice. Is that just the air? Is that just your natural skin? Now, the only thing that would perchance, I wonder if this is what people smell when they smell the extreme of, um, so I have here, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. And people talk about the overdose one and talk about how amazing it smells now that to me this is like a your skin but better scent but the the sheer like reactions that I've seen online to overdose makes me feel like perhaps this is somewhat what they smell when they smell it 
and I just don't Now, I don't know if my mind is tricking me, but this this smells like a weaker version of this. Of Not a perfume, smells like a weaker version of... So now I need to go get Overdose and see. It just smells like... Like, out, like, like air. Like, the cleanest air. Like, maybe this is what you smell like after you're clean and maybe, like, was functioning for an hour so your natural musk comes out. It doesn't stink. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like B.O. I'm not sure how else to explain this. Castling. The more I smell it, the more perplexed I get. Do you hear me using big words now? I mean, perplexed really isn't that big of words, but a vocabulary word? I'm perplexed. Not confused, perplexed. I needed a newer, more elevated word to talk about this fragrance. This is very interesting and pretty but not really because it's very unisex but pretty at the same but just nice vetiver i i think vetiver is a sexy note i like a lot of fragrances that have vetiver in it it does something um to me skin musk sandalwood vanilla wood I feel like I'm not sure about freesia. It could go either way with me for freesia. For the most part, I like iris. Lotus flower, I feel like it's a, what, like a watery type of smell. Fig leaves, not the actual fig. I mean, I smell no burger. This is a very inch. I feel like I've been on this for a very long time and editing is going to be buck wild. But I really, I, actually, I think I'm just going to leave my whole opinion of this fragrance because it's, very like I don't know this is high class now I feel like because in my mind I'm thinking maybe this would overdose smells like and they say overdose is just a bigger of uh, not a perfume so I don't know they it's giving something but this is definitely amazing amazing is it worth 345 Dolores for how light it at least smells on the paper. I'm not sure about that. Now, how long would I smell like this, right? Because it's not a projecting scent is the real question. Um, <clears throat> it is an straight, so. Okay, let's keep it moving. This is my favorite one so far. This is what I was wearing today. Definitely very much still smell it, <clears throat> even over all of these very, very strong fragrances. This is called Blockade. This is green, mango, and peppercorn. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a, um, like a unripe mango, to my nose at least. This is a like a mango or maybe it is considered unripe but it's not like a no sweetness mango this is like that mango that you would use when you actually want to chop up and have mango cubes in my personal opinion i think this smells so sexy it almost smells like i don't know it's just like this this smells really good and i feel like it's gonna work really well with mango Flesh by Dua um, or Manko Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery because that's almost like a almost spoiled mango and red wine note. This is very interesting. I had someone bother me. Okay, I went out this today with my nights to have a not put, worry about the, putting the kids out to sleep. And I wore this. I changed my whole outfit so I could wear this fragrance. Because the scent of the night that I was going to wear. I sprayed more of my clothes and just my arms. Because it's just such a strong scent. And I ended up taking it off and washing my arms so I could put this scent on. This is absolute. This is not a super booming. I'm sure if I drowned myself in it, I would boom. I didn't drown myself in it. Because it's such a strong smell. Um... You can definitely still smell it. This is top notes of mango skin, pink pepper, tomato leaf, and bergamot. Middle notes of lavender, mango flower, watery cyclamen, and star anise. Dry down is cure, 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 velour, I don't know what that is. Um, patchouli, ambrostar, and 
food. Do not be afraid of the oud. For me, I am very sensitive on oud. I have not worn rock but to excess, even though I like how sweet it is because of the oud note. The oud in general is a very finicky note for me. I still like ragba because even the, sh the oud is wrapping up so much sweetness. It doesn't bother me most of the time, but that is a freezing weather. Not just cold. That is a buck wild cold weather or a um, making a statement at a situation type of weather, um, type of scent. I still don't smell the oud and it is, I put that, okay, six, it's been two, six, seven, two hours and I still don't smell the oud. Um, that's not to say in the four hour mark or the six hour mark or the eight hour mark. Ow, oh, this smells like more mango skin on my clothes. This is, so castling is more mind boggling to me. Blockade is more, in my opinion, mass appealing out of Mm, all of these fragrances maybe because it's like a fruity earth scent this is woody leathery fruit do i think this smells like leather there's definitely something interesting about it i don't know if i would have jumped to leather but it's definitely a woody fruity scent i would say for sure it's nice i like it a lot um it's 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 bright it's a little effervescent it's a little it's definitely sexy it's um it's also kind of like delicate while still making a very known presence guys it's it's a wonderful one I envision the strong metallic armor of a knight brought to life. A mix of crushed leaves, ginger, and pepper from Madagascar accompany ambery woods to relay a strong heart with a juicy mango grounding the fragrance. The use of boya enhances depth and inserts a narcotic addiction to the potent scent. Definitely a potent scent for sure. I, 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 I wouldn't wear this scent personally in a small space definitely wouldn't wear it on a plane um i definitely wouldn't wear it in like a car from lad long i you got to be careful with, with blockade yeah that that issue black here yeah, now your nose and can't I smell nothing else it's so juicy it's not an overly ripe one um it's just delicious in that like i said like you're chopping it actually in cubes like you can cube this mango it's very pretty it's it's very pretty i do think a man could wear this though there's something distinctly very um euphoric almost about it like you definitely i don't know how else to say it it's very very nice it's very nice. This whole, this is all by, I mean, Kaisa, I think is my least favorite. Now it smells like kind of soapy. Asuli's diamond is gorgeous. Mm. Checkmate got a little more powdery. This is very nice. Mm. Mm. So lovely. Castling is lovely. I think Cassia, Cassia is my least favorite and I would still wear it. Um, am I going to possibly have my mom smell it and see if she likes it? And if she does, I'm going to gift it to her. There's a chance. But I might keep it also just so I can keep, before I even do that, keep testing it. Um, I like this. I think this, it's expensive, okay, right? Because if the average pricing is in the... 100 to 130 dollar range and this was 175 it's it's money um i'm not gonna act like it's not it's not cheap um but i think eight mls for five fragrances what is that what a, eight ml fragrance decants um is giving 35 dollars per for one which if you get another there's some of these you know that come out with like designer brands that come out with like private lines and you go look at their 10 mls are like 70 bucks so 
I mean, it really just depends. And I think you really, I think you get a pretty dang decent bang for your buck here. Um, and what's cool is um, they have the, this is the light collection, right? So you're looking at, hold on, one, two, I don't want to get these confused because I want to smell these on the other side. A white container. And then they have the dark set, which is a whole nother set for the same price grandmaster which is a floriental floral edible what the f what does that mean and i think i also want that i no i don't think i know i want that Gar gardez woody floral leathery scholars made woody aromatic floral double attack citrus woody edible what the fudge does edible mean jab jab jad jadu Jadube, Jadubi, Woody Floral Fruity. I don't know what these mean. Let's look at Grandmaster real quick because I'm interested. I'm truly interested. And I mean, I am intrigued. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is the light set and then they have the dark set, which would make sense, right? You want to have the same exact pieces in two different colors, which is what looks like the bottles are doing. It's giving that exact same thing. Um... This sounds interesting so yeah that is mind games their light sample set sample collection um a five and then they have the five in the other these are great i really enjoy this and um i am not going to promote you going to go buy the big ass bottles um it is 100 ml so at least you can say it's 100 ml for 345 but that is <clears throat> that's a lot of money that is like a hundred dollars for 30 ml <laughs> um 110 dollars which is um like i don't know I, I i'm not a mathiana but it's a lot it's 100 ml 30 ml i don't know it's just it's a lot of money so i'm not gonna say go buy the bigger bottles but i think for 175 you get five eight mls that's and um something to actually carry it in so you can bring in your purse and stuff and it's protected and it's not going to spray everywhere i think this pricing and it comes with its own tester strips i was low-key impressed with the tester strips um and you have a casing in which i mean i truthfully i'm gonna probably find a way to i mean something's gonna have to move because i want this now in my um my videos so something is gonna have to shift in my plotting of my fragrances anyway this video has been going on wow for a long time thank you so much if you managed to reach the end of this video <laughs> you are awesome thank you i mean you're awesome if you watched any of it but you know what i'm saying um hit that subscribe button if you did because tr obviously you enjoyed listening to me talk anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video and hopefully i'll see you in my next one Bye-bye.